What is going on guys? It's your boy, The Ginger King here, back with another video. Um, we're going to review the Subaru WRX, the 2013 Subaru WRX. Oh, got the cat. Cat can't go outside, neither can the dog. Um, go outside, we see a nice little Honda parked in the neighbor's garage over there. Um, I'm not a hater, so I can't hate on the Honda, you know. There's a lot of people out there that just hate Hondas, you know. Um, but... You know, I, I, I appreciate all cars, you know. Nice little Honda, you know. All right, um, I've never really done a review on a car, but I guess let's just start off with, it's a WRX. Um, it's got this charcoal gray color. I'm not really feeling the color, but you know, at night it looks pretty dope. We got this, these red tail lights, you know. Um, I'm the Ginger King, so you gotta, gotta keep them red, you know. Got these uh, straight piped exhausts. I don't even know what these are, to be honest. Just threw them on there um, at the muffler shop. From I-79 Honda, got this blue Subaru badge. Pretty pretty nice looking there. I want to get another one. Um, black it out, you know. Black out everything. We got this swing for, for downforce, so when I'm beating all those Evos out there, uh, they can eat my shit off the, the back of the wing. We got these stock rims here. They're not a bad color. They really go with the car really well. They match. Um, I'm probably gonna plasti dip these black. And once I get these uh, these tires all janked up um, from all the Evos I'm gonna beat, probably get some snow tires on there or some snow rims and use these as my snow or snow tires. Use these as my snow rims. Um, put my keys in the grass over here. That's a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, guys. But I'm feeling the the red interior. Maybe if I was a bigger fan of red, you know. Start it up for you guys. Let you see the, the dash. The dash is all red. You know, I'm feeling that. Um, I like it a lot better if it was like green because you, you really don't see green. But, you know, let's hear that exhaust. You guys already know. You guys already know that exhaust is amazing. Sounds great. Um, we also got these for the windows. Um, and those are just a must, you know. If you, if you have any car, you should know. If you're, if you're any enthusiast, they just make the car look cleaner and it's more aerodynamic, you know what I'm saying? So, when you're beating all those Evos out there, uh, and those Hondas and those Corollas, you know, you can get some extra aerodynamic um, stuff going on. Pretty clean, you know, dirty as we speak, but clean at the same time, you know, guys? Um, I'd pop the hood for you, but uh, you already know, Subaru Boxer engine, you can't, can't beat it, so I, no reason in popping the hood. Um, but I'll do it just for the subs, just for the subscribers, you know, guys. Cause y'all, y'all are the real fam out there. Y'all are the real fam. Got an aftermarket. Whoever owned this car before me put some aftermarket parts on it. Of course they did. You know, it's it's a Subie. But I think they took really good care of the car, to be real. Um, engine bay looks hella clean. Got this aftermarket turbo heat shield. Um, homeboy put some foil in there for some reason, and it and some electrical tape which let me know guys why in the hell would you put something inside the heat shield where you obviously especially foil and electrical tape I don't yeah that's foil and electrical tape and like inside the heat shield where it can obviously be melted and that is the case um, haven't made a video in a while also because uh, the intercooler to um, the throttle body hose came loose. So I'm guessing it's just that hose right down there. Um, and I also need my rotors and brakes done. Went somewhere for my rotors and brakes and he was supposed to do the intercooler hose and then I was driving back um, home and I could, obviously I wasn't getting any boost or anything like that. And so I knew he didn't do that. But gave it to the people I normally go to, and they fixed it. You know, it was pretty cheap. And then I got the car back from them, drove back to work, and I didn't have any brakes. 
And I was pretty pissed about that because the guy obviously didn't do my brakes correctly either. But, you know, he hooked me up. He did me right. You know, he came out. He's a nice guy and actually took care of me because I wasn't going to drive back to his shop after, you know, I don't have any brakes. It could have been super dangerous. But also, besides just showing you guys the car, I want to go over plans with the Subi, you know. So I also want to go over plans for the Subi um, and this build. First things first, guys. We already got the exhaust. That's one. Um, like I said before in this video, I want to get some different rims. Get those little spikes, the spiked lug nuts, you know, and the spike. Um, fuck, I don't even know what that's called. I forgot. Um, so I'm gonna use these as snow, snow rims, snow tires. After I uh, get those rims done, I'm probably gonna get the mud flaps. I don't know what color I really want to get because I think they only have like weird colors, like a red. I don't know if they have blue. Um, but comment, uh, put the link in the uh, the comments, you know for some subi parts um got the roof rack let's move on to the engine so what i want to do to the engine i already got it pretty much straight pipe the exhaust um so i'm probably not gonna upgrade the turbo um i thought about getting a oem turbo which i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do like just a brand new oem turbo real soon because they're doing a deal on it um from the manufacturer that's like two I think it was like 283 or two, two something, which normally it was like 500 bucks. So that's a good deal, if you ask me. Obviously, I'm gonna get the cob intake, probably a cob, um, blow off valve. I think that's pretty much it for the engine, except for like a downpipe um, and maybe some headers with bigger cats on them, because you gotta pass the mission, guys. So probably get a downpipe and then um, <clears throat> some bigger headers for the airflow. Um, and then probably get this bodywork on the other side fixed and then once that gets done I'm going to plasti dip this Subaru y'all are probably like Christian are you really gonna plasti dip a Subaru yes I really am gonna plasti dip the Subaru so I'm probably gonna plasti dip the Subaru um, and then after that I'm gonna wrap it um, hopefully hopefully I do all that stuff it's probably gonna be a long process because there's a lot of stuff that I want to do through the car, honestly. Um, then we got to get these window tints, and then I'm probably going to get blacked out tail lights that have LEDs in them. Um, also, I'm probably going to go pick up some headlights for the front today, blacked out with the halo lights and the demon eyes, which are app controlled. Always wanted that. Um, and then I'll probably switch this out for like a black one and switch this wing out for the the bigger one I don't know what it's called but definitely probably gonna do that hopefully new hood for sure guys probably get the hood with the scoop and then the the side scoops right there and I really want a, a roof scoop but I'm probably not gonna do that because that's it's a little much honestly um, so probably not gonna do that but maybe I will who knows and then I'll probably get a short shifter maybe a new clutch um, and I also want to get some gauges, obviously, and then I want to get a bash bar. I don't know if I really want to do that, but I want to get one that, you know, obviously comes over and has, like, the, the lights, you know, you, how you see on rally cars. I don't know if I want to do that or not, um, and eventually probably a body kit, but I'm obviously going to do the cheapest things first, so probably do the interior. Um, after that, I'll probably get the... I'm getting the headlights hopefully today or Thursday um, and then after that I'll probably switch out the intake for a cob intake um, just to get some more performance going in there and then after that maybe the roof rack for some more cosmetic stuff and maybe I'll just switch back and forth from engine to cosmetic engine to cosmetic because that kind of makes sense to me. All right, so we're gonna do some pulls in the um, the WRX. We're gonna get you guys some some real review of this car, you know, while I drive it. Um, I love the clutch. This is the car I learned to drive stick on. Um, well, not this one, but just this car, if you guys know what I'm saying. And 
It was actually on my dad's WRX, which I bought from him, which is now total. But thanks, Dad. Sorry I ruined your clutch. Um, and then after that, I bought a Mazda 6. First off, the steering wheel is kind of small. It's a, it makes the car feel a lot smaller than it is. Like, say if you drive an SUV, you'll, and then you hop in this, you'll definitely feel like this car is tiny, and it is a small car, it's a light car. Um, handling, well, yeah, it's obviously, it's a fast car. It doesn't feel as much pull when I'm driving it as the other Subaru I did have. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is. If I just need a tune or if I need to change out the filter or get some spark plugs or something like that. But it doesn't feel like it has as much pull in it. Um, and be careful of any potholes at all it makes a horrific noise anytime you hit one like you uh, just scrape the, the bottom of your car and destroy your suspension that's what it sounds like so I definitely avoid any potholes at all costs besides that the interior is pretty basic um, which I'm a basic guy the only thing I'd really want is a sunroof the heated seats and honestly that'd make my day the dash would be nice as well but I mean hey guys maybe maybe we'll get a sunroof maybe we'll get the heated seats installed and a backup camera would also be very nice as well but I mean I like the interior I know it's probably been the same for several years at least that's what people have said it, it looks exactly like the interior in the old one so, I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right, guys? Um, definitely pools, for sure. Sounds great with the exhaust as well. I definitely recommend getting your car straight piped because I mean it, it sounds great pops and everything like that and there's a Mustang coming up right here so maybe maybe homeboy wants to race outside and so did I it's like 96 degrees outside so we're inside so if you want to see a Subi build hit the like button hit the subscribe button um, we got good stuff coming you know guys it's the ginger king we're, we're putting out great content out here so hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see a Subi build and thank you guys for watching another video